Hi everyone, welcome to Thirsty Thirsty, time for a Sub-125 Beer Club review up on the show today. Very excited, been trying to get this on the show for a while, but it's never been at the price point. Tipping the scales at 4.4%, it's the Black Sheep Ale. This sent me back £1.24 English pence from supermarket chain Tesco. No life's mysteries this week, but a dedication to uh, fellow brew tuber Mr Ant Rogerson. Ant, many moons ago, had a bit of a run-in in his car with a Black Sheep Arctic lorry and uh, he came off second best but fortunately he lived to fight another day and lived to brew more beer. Right, there's the crown, get it popped and poured and see what she is like. Nice bit of hiss, a little bit of can of smoke, not great light in here at the moment. We've got a non-nucleated glass. Now as always to be a member of the Sub 125 Beer Club of my show you've got to cost £1.25 English pence or less for a 500ml bottle. You could be a bigger bottle, you could be a smaller bottle. However, pro rata ratioed 125, 500 mil. That is how you get a guest slot on the show. Lovely, lovely artwork. Looks like old, old like an old, old treasure map type paper it looks like on there. See that? Really, really like that. Right, enough of me waffling. Okay, colour wise, that is, I am going to get out of retirement again. The old infamous beer torch because... It does pour quite a nice sort of coppery bronze colour. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to get some stronger light bulbs in here next time I'm in the, in the shop. There you go. That looks, looks delicious. Two and a bit finger head of uh, fairly tight, slightly off-white soapy type bubbles. Um, right, let's go for a sniff and see what we get. Quite sweet. Almost like a bit of like white pepper, but very, very faint. Nice malts. And a snidge of snidge of hops. Maybe a bit maybe a bit of fuggles, a bit of goldings, something else in there. Maybe challenger. Anyway, cheers everyone. It's diving for a test. Looking forward to this. Cheers. Silky smooth, perfect balance bitter. Malts going in now, hops now. Oh, that is nice. That is, it's not like a, not necessarily like an old textbook style bitter, but one that's been enhanced with some modern taste in mind. Now, This came out the fridge about an hour ago, so it's probably a little bit above room temperature. There's great flavouring coming through now. On my palate, I think that's about two and a half out of five on sweetness, two and a half five on on the bittering. Very very well blended. That little bit of peppery notes on the back end has got to be from like the fuggles in there. That is a silky, silky smooth beer. I really, really like that. I think we've got anything else of interesting facts on the back. Not really, although the founder of this company is Paul Theakston. Of course, many of you probably heard of Theakston Brewery. So I think he left the family business and went and started up on his own. Hence, Black Sheep. So he was potentially the Black Sheep of the family. Um, oh, blimey. Oh, that you seriously, that is really, really nice. Now, I've had one, only have had one 10 out of 10 beer on Thursday, Thursday, so far. And I, I, this isn't a 10. But I'm definitely going to give that a very, very solid 9 out of 10. I could drink that all night long. It is very, very nice. Great head retention, I think, as well. I think they're still giving off nice aromas. That nice sharpness of the bittering on the way down. Lovely malt to hot profile. Very, very well balanced and very, very well brewed. Um, yeah, enjoy that. If you see that on your travels, go and pick one up. 
give it a go. I think you will like that a lot. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again real soon, right here, Thursday, Thursday, for another Club Sub 125 beer review. Be seeing you.